How you guys doing? Alright, just gonna do a quick little flight, maybe do a little pattern work. And uh, I just couldn't drive by the airport today, seeing how beautiful it is, and not uh, go fly a little bit. So let's go see if we can have some fun. Engines all started, countdown timer started. We're gonna lean for taxi, get these radios, GPS is all set up. Density altitude, 1,800. Laconia Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, 1846, Zulu, wind variable at 06, visibility 10, sky condition clear, temperature 28 Celsius, dew point 10 Celsius, altimeter 3030, remarks Density altitude, 1,800. All right, altimeter 3030. Obviously we've got some high pressure here. Cross this active road here. Gosh, everybody here is so nice. Everyone waves. Everyone's helpful. The first to come to the wingtip and make sure that you're not going to hit them. Well, then again, I guess that's because uh, they don't want you hitting their wingtip, but <laughs> everyone is so nice here. So it's a beautiful day at Laconia Municipal Airport. There's uh Barely a cloud in the sky. There's virtually no wind. It's the second 4th of July weekend that we've had. With 4th of July running right in the middle of the week, we had a uh, pre-4th of July weekend and a post-4th of July weekend. and We've just had a run of amazing weather. Didn't fly yesterday, went out on the boat and uh, have a good friend in town and we went out and hung out on the boat. And uh, it was actually a little chillier than expected like 70 some odd degrees which was a welcome break from that uh really intense like high 90s high humidity we had some thunder showers a couple days ago on friday had to give some relief to the sky i guess and let all that all that uh, moisture out of the sky so i re-rigged my outside gopro with my homemade uh, strut, strut mount. And I'm gonna show you guys what I did to make that. It's not really that big of a deal, but I'm not gonna pay a hundred and some odd bucks for a uh, strut mount that I can make for, geez, approximately two bucks, maybe three bucks, depending on where you're shopping. I have to put that hundred bucks into fuel for the airplane. It's like uh, the ramp over here is pretty busy. As I turn over, you'll see uh, all the jet activity. We just got to find a, a place to do our run up. You know what I'm going to do just to be on the super safe side? I'm going to go way past the, the last plane. Boy, I'd hate to blast one of those guys with uh, some sand or rocks or dirt or whatever. I bet that, I bet just a touch up 
to a small part of their plane would uh, cost more than this whole airplane. All right, so we'll uh, do our run up here. Before takeoff, park and brake set. I use my tow brake, seat belts and harnesses, check secure. Good for now. Fuel quantity, right tank is almost full, left tank is full. Mixture full rich. Prop full forward, carb heat cold. Throttle 1700. Right magneto, both, left magneto, both, engine instruments, oil pressure is good, oil temp is good, cylinder head temp is low but uh, coming up, same with the EGTs. Look on your traffic, Roman crossing uh, midfield, uh, north to south. Three prop cycles, manifold up, tack down, manifold increase, tack decreases. And oil pressure, slight drop in the oil pressure and back. You guys will notice that I, uh, I don't check the suction gauge because I don't have a suction gauge. It was right here, but I removed the vacuum system from the airplane. Talk about that in another video. Carb heat is on. My throttle back to idle. Make sure the plane will run in its lowest RPM configuration, and it does. Carb heat back on. Lean the mixture for taxi again. Okay, our radios are set. Unicom on the COM1. AWAS on the COM2. Elevator rudder trim set. That earlier, lights are on. We'll have our strobes on. Brakes release. You guys ready for taxi? Good, me too. Hopefully my uh, outside camera won't slip like it did in the last series of videos. Make a quick radio call. Oconee traffic, Blue Sky Lane 3067 Yankee taxiing from the ramp run-up area to uh, runway 26 at, uh, on Bravo, full length departure, Oconee. Both ways, see anybody? King Air 404 Delta Papa taxiing from the terminal to runway 26 Laconia. Got a King Air behind us, I guess. That's a heck of an airplane. No passengers today, so maybe I won't talk as much. Who knows? Now, some of you guys like lots of chatter, others of you uh, think it's too much detail. Well, I uh, sometimes give a lot of detail to passengers who want to learn um, specifically everything that goes on in a cockpit of an airplane. But uh, even when I'm alone, I, I talk, I try to do everything out loud. It's a good practice. Especially when you're uh, when you're doing your flow. Maconia traffic, Cessna six two one zero Tango's taxing to two six. Maconia traffic. When you're doing your flow, when you're running off a checklist, when you hear yourself do it, it just somehow becomes more real, and uh, you basically get uh, very few free passes for mistakes when it comes to flying an airplane. So. I like to make sure that everything is done as properly as possible. And I just want to address my double run-up that I often do. I don't do it all the time. Um, some people have made remarks in prior videos that they've never seen that done, or they, they don't see the reason for it. And maybe there isn't a good reason for it, but I think there is a good reason. First flight of the day, haven't flown the plane in a number of days. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if somebody uh, got into my hangar. I mean, I... I hope not, but you never know. And it's the first flight of the day, the first time the engine's been run in a day. And I want to make sure that we have uh, we have power. 
after a reasonably long taxi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mixture full rich, prop full forward, car peak cold, throttle up to 1700, do a real quick, just a mag check, that's it, in and out. Nice drop, both. Left, nice drop, both. Make a quick radio call, look at uh, final, departure. Laconia traffic, Blue Sky Lane 3067 Yankee, uh, full length departure, runway 26, Laconia traffic. I'm putting 20 degrees of flaps. Get us off a little bit faster. Turn my noise canceling. My headset. Look on your traffic. Sky lane passing over the lake. 1,700 feet. 270 over the uh, end of the run mark. Full power. Make a radio call as we're going. We're get oil pressure, oil temperature is good. Look on your traffic. Blue sky lane 3067 Yankee rolling. No, we popped the door open. That's okay. We'll talk about that in a minute as soon as we get to a safe altitude. Transition over to a cruise climb. Welcome to traffic, Blue Sky Lane 3067 Yankee, 1300 on the departure leg, left turn out to the south, last call Laconia traffic. All right, so I am changing my- Traffic, Sky Lane 20 Romeo, clear the end of the run mark. I'm changing my plan just a little bit right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm turning to the south right now. Actually, the southwest more than anything. I'm going to get up a little higher. Now, I just want to... Is that guy going to talk on the radio? I'm not sure. All right, so I want to just explain... Uh, you experienced pilots know that the uh, door popping open is not a big deal. But I uh, want to explain to those who may have never experienced it before, or maybe those who don't even fly small airplanes um, or haven't begun their training yet, who may think that it's a scary and uh, dangerous condition. Um, generally speaking, it's not. The doors um, open and close like most cars with the hinges forward. so. We're moving through the air right now at 90 miles an hour. And uh, the doors, the wind wants to blow the door shut. So I have to... Traffic King Air 404, Delta Papa, taking off runway 26 Laconia. We'll be departing to the south, southwest. Thanks, Dave. Uh, let's check my, uh, off my horizon here. Not much going on. We'll get up to 3,000 feet. So anyways, uh, the door popping open. Oh, it's a passenger door. It's... You're going to see that on your side where the camera is. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually going to make kind of a bigger deal of this than I normally would, just so I can show you guys what's up. So I'll climb up to a safe altitude, and I'll get the plane in a configuration that uh, gives me one of my hands back. Well, I have one of my hands back, but I kind of want to have... Uh, I guess the traffic myself in a position where if I need both of my hands, I can still operate the airplane safely. I feel like I'm there right now. So I'm just going to pop the door open a little bit further, reach behind, slam it, and lock it. How simple, huh? Go ahead. So this off runway 26 will be making a left turn out. Go ahead. Welcome to traffic, Blue Sky Lane 3067 Yankee. Uh, we're still on the frequency and we're about four miles southwest, climbing through 
2,800 for 3,000. Anyways, guys, um, not a big deal, as you can see. Zero two zero is entering the base for runway one seven Augusta. And I would have done that without even mentioning it, um, had I had an experienced passenger on board or no cameras on board. But uh, hey, it's a good opportunity to show you guys something. I'm going to keep going up to uh, three thousand five hundred. A little tidbit for you guys about uh, radio comms. And again, this is geared toward uh, those of us that may either be beginners or haven't even begun. 6210 Tango is departing the pattern. And then Southwest climbing through uh, 2000. Laconia traffic. Or maybe those who just want to know and have no plans on flying. But uh, the radios in aircraft operate in, v in the VHF spectrum, very high frequency. And the nature of VHF is that it is a line of sight type communication. Basically, if you can't send that radio wave directly to the destination, it's not going to work. It's not going to get there. And uh, one of my other hobbies is a ham radio guy. And. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of fun to be had with ham radio. Except you'll find that in ham radio, people basically talk about talking on the radio. There's really not a lot of substance. Uh, when you're in an airplane, you're talking about obviously very important things, and you're talking uh, to other people who have very important things to discuss. So I haven't been doing a lot of ham radio stuff. Suffice it to say, when uh, when you're on, when you're in an airplane, you have line of sight to incredible distances, uh, much farther than you would normally have were you uh, just sitting in uh, the second story of your house, for instance, even with a high gain antenna. Take a uh, an eastbound turn, head over the lake. There was traffic to plane one for Lima and then a left downwind for 2-2. Two -two. Uh, Cernic Lake traffic, Challenger 15 miles south, will be entering a left downwind for runway 2-3 Lake. Okay, Lima, 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 Lima. There was something uh, I wanted to kind of talk about briefly that I thought was uh, I'm not going to say it was a revelation, but it was something kind of became clear to me. One of the me. many reasons that I like flying so much. Um, yeah, I do like coming up here and experiencing the, the beauty of uh, creation. And I enjoy the, the actual act of flying and manipulating the controls. And yes, I especially love the scientific and technical nature of it, especially instrument flying. And I uh, really like the precision um, that, you know, the higher certificates like the commercial pilot certificate traffic, standard demands. Your landings have to be better, your maneuvers need to be more precise, et cetera, et cetera. Jumpers below over Danielson, jumpers below over Danielson, 40,000 feet below over Danielson, he's touching jumpers! Oh, you're way too excited to be jumping out of a perfectly good airplane. Haha. Uh -huh. But what I discovered that I really like about flying a lot, specifically, is that it requires most of my mental bandwidth to the exclusion of other things that could be on my mind or bothering me. Not necessarily bothering me, but like, you know, always busy with work and kids and home and mowing the lawn and taking care of the properties and the tenants and the this and the that and all the other things that, that life, uh, you know, busy life by choice has invaded me with. And uh, when I'm flying, it demands my full attention. I mean, I, I can't really be thinking about 
you know, a, a problem with this or a problem with that. And it's kind of focus time for me. And I, I just never really considered that to be uh, traffic nine nine zero left cross and then runway one five for the to be something that's uh, so significant until I, I guess I, I pinpointed it uh, one day it just kind of became clear to me oh my gosh I I just landed the airplane and I've got all these things that need my attention down here on the ground but I haven't thought about them for the last two or three hours that's really cool yeah I see it never mind we're good. Ah, I wouldn't have uh, minded doing an approach, a visual instrument approach, meaning an instrument approach, but with no safety pilot, and uh, you know, using a lot, a lot of visual cues outside as well. Just good, good kind of refresher practice. Doesn't count as one of my six and six months, but I think we'll go out here to the north end of the lake a little bit. We'll enter into a 45 degree upwind. And uh, we'll land the airplane and call it good. Tons and tons of boats out here on Lake Winnipesaukee. Laconia traffic, Laconia traffic, got a red white uh, Pilatus, five miles to the southwest. We're going to be joining the left downwind for 26, Laconia. At 500 feet and climbing up to 4. That's a heck of an airplane. I'm assuming it's a PC 12. What an amazing machine. It's a real business turboprop that can land in 2000 or 2500, I'm not sure what it is. It lands in the grass, it lands any, anywhere. Basically, that you can find 2,000 feet. Uh, Menfield, uh, we've got a Baron on a, on a setup from five mile final runway three two. And uh, any traffic, please advise. Sorry. I wanted to point this out. Um, uh, five mile. Uh, bring it on I'm in not. Minute. I'm not critical of other people's radio work. Um, we all make our share of mistakes, but I think it's important to observe. Okay, we're uh, just turning uh, the uh, final approach. To observe uh, protocols. And an instructor a long, long time ago, like 20 plus years ago, told me, you know, he asked rhetorically, why would anybody call into a uh, an untowered, a non-towered airport and say, any traffic in the pattern, please advise? What happens if there's eight airplanes in the pattern? They all key up their mics at the same time. That just creates chaos. It's proper protocol to announce your intentions into uh, into the space and to continually advise of your intentions and your actions and your whereabouts, who you are and what you're doing. Okay, I'm descending now. Pilatus at Laconia, just advise some animals along the side of the runway. Okay, thanks for that heads up uh, for Pilatus 212, thanks. Laconia traffic, red white Pilatus turn in final 26, full stop. Laconia. Laconia traffic, uh, blue sky lane 3067 Yankee, 4 to the north, inbound for full stop, runway 26. We're going to join on a left uh, upwind for uh, the pattern. 26, Laconia. All right, pre pre landing checklist. Leave the fuel on the left tank. Mixture's full rich, the props full forward. The gear, of course, is down and welded, as they say. Kind of funny. We're descending through 3,200. Target altitude, pattern altitude of 1,600. Welcome to traffic. Blue Skyline 3067 Yankee. We're going to overfly at 2,000 and join a left downwind. Laconi traffic. And Laconi traffic, Blue Skyline 3067 Yankee, left downwind for runway 26, full stop Laconi traffic. Alright guys, we're at 1700 feet. And, uh, Okay, pre-landing checklist. Fuels on both tanks. Mixture full rich, prop full forward, carb heat cold. 
Cal flaps half closed. We want to prevent shock cooling the engine here. And uh, throttle back. 10 degrees of flaps. And Laconia traffic, Blue Sky Lane 3067 Yankees turning on left base for 26 Laconia. 20 degrees of flaps. One minute prior, one minute prior, jumpers are over air, uh, correction over Ellington, 145 below. Use caution, Ellington, Scott Average, 145 below, one minute, watch out. Laconia traffic, Blue Sky Lane, 3067 Yankee, base to final, 26 Laconia. Not into the ground, for crying out loud, that's not good. Carpet cold, or warm, on. <laughs> Get that center line. the airplane off the ground. A little bit of a crosswind there, not a big deal. Find the yellow taxi line here. Traffic Blue Skyline 3067 Yankee, clear of all runways at Foxtrot. 